an ad first. If I had more testosterone, I'd kill you. And welcome to the Slightly Wilson Show. I'm your host, and today we're going to play some video games. We are back for another episode of the Slightly Scientific Starfield System Sprint. Where we are surveying the Milky Way one planetoid at a time. Today's episode, we are proceeding to another moon. It's it's Dione, the moon of Saturn. It's going to be it's going to be exciting. Yes, Can we change the channel. We changed the channel. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I see um, Lorelei was the VIP winner yesterday. Good job, Lorelei. I've still not made you that uh, those commands, have I, guys? No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I need to do those. 
the ones to pass the freely pass the telemote to somebody else if you have it i guess i could make that a command rather than a channel redeem yeah that makes more sense and um and another one and a channel redeem to steal the telemote steal the vip from someone else so i will i will get around to those at some point hi now come with me to the uh, the main channel let's go to the main channel mm. let's go to the main channel where we have uh, successfully finished after much hard work we have successfully finished my head tracker so now if i move my head no matter where my head is in position from my camera the camera will automatically track it back into the center meaning that i can now make things where my head is stationary or needs to be stationary like this head it's not perfect it can't do in and out it can't it can't really do in and out per se um actually it kind of looks better slightly out i don't know i'm not sure i think it, either way i love it <laughs> it's weird as balls but i love it mm. there we go yeah <laughs> but yeah we can have some we can have some right fun with this I, I don't think i've ever seen anyone manage to make a head tracker that does this so i am very pleased that we have succeeded yeah yeah <laughs> so right yeah we are continuing our foray today to do dione and then afterwards we will proceed again back to doing what were we doing yesterday oh, oh we were doing corporate espionage we were doing the quest line for reusion industries I don't know if it's multiple quest lines or just one, but we're gonna we're gonna find out. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. So allow me to allow me to zoom in. Allow me to zoom in um, and switch over sounds to the game. And then we are gonna set a course to Dione. How many asteroids have I got there now? At least seven, isn't it? It's at least seven asteroids. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I'm trying to constantly look. I've just found more. Oh, as well as enemies. Is that enemies? Oh, it is enemies. Now time to collect. Yeah, it's time to collect, babe. <laughs> we don't have to fight. It's just a bit dull that they really didn't give, they really didn't give you many options to this trait. Like, it's really like, considering some traits are fantastic and then some traits like this one are just downright, ow, that's an, ast that's an asteroid, bloody hell. They're just downright annoying. Oh, I'm, I'm taking some serious heat from somebody behind me. Whoa. Yeah, no, we're, we're dead. <laughs> That's a good one. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh well. Oh, hang on. What the bloody hell has happened? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me pause here. I just see that it's come up that it doesn't know how many times I've died. What's happened to the... Yeah, look, the death counter's just broke. What's happened to the death counter? What's happened to Twitch? Is it not connected to Twitch no more? I mean, I'm connected to uh, YouTube somehow. What about Twitch? No, it's fine. So why did that happen? Let me try it again. Def. Hand over the boy now. Okay, okay. I need it, lady. You've got about. Whoops. I uh, hmm. It's not working right, and I can't honestly see why. Uh, action history. Def counter add. Uh, variables when queued. Def stream deck action. Maybe I'm going to need to restart everything because it's weird that it's not um, it's not getting the details it's supposed to get from Twitch. Where's my damn def thingy? Def counter, improved def counter, five options, yeah. Add target info from broadcaster name. That's what's, that's what's failing, isn't it? 
It's, um... For some reason, it's not pulling up the, the broadcaster name. Yeah, I'm going to restart. I'm going to restart streamer bot, and that also means I need to restart streaming avatars. And that means the screen's going to go completely wrong and break. It's all right. We'll switch to the... Oh, yeah, that, don't, that won't work either until streamer bot restarts. <laughs> I was going to change scenes, and I can't even do that. I mean, I could, kind of. I could switch to the camera. I can switch to the camera while we're... While I'm cocking around with this. At least then all the little weird things that are on screen disappear while I'm... <laughs> while I'm setting it up. And at least that button works as well. Is there a... Oh, that's on the screen. It's not on my face. It was like a dot. It was a spot. It was on the screen. Okay, partially connected. Give me a fully connected. Come on. Give me a fully connected. Boy. Twitch broadcaster. Partially connected. What's the issue with it? Was that there already? Has something gone wrong with the APIs on Twitch. Does that mean it's bugger today? We're not gonna we're not gonna be able to do any of the counts for the deaths. Our oh, balls, man. Why is that happening? We'll test it again. Test it again. Let me do a uh, do another death. Oh, I'm on the wrong screen. Ah! Ah! Lenny, no! It still says unknown. Ah, oh. something's gone wrong with Twitch then. Something's gone wrong with Twitch. Let me let me log out and then log back in. Maybe that'll fix it. Right, log in. Logged in. It still says... It still says partially connected. Um, I don't want to waste time ages doing it, but we're going we're gonna to have a quick look. We're going to have a quick look at... Um, damn it, that doesn't work again either, does it? Stupid window thing. I hate that. I hate it. I really do. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have a leak and see if I can't find what's wrong with this Twitch stream bot issues. Just in case there's like a headline of it. Log out from dashboard and log in again. Part the bot from your channel and make it join again. Make sure the bot's in moderator. Make sure stream elements is not banned. Or would, it, or would it be banned? News. 27 days, two days. Oh, why do they keep fixating on this whole Twitch streamer kills people with a mind? It's the same lassie, isn't it? It's the same lassie using an EEG machine, which they have had around for fucking ever. <laughs> people were using it to play Tetris 10 years ago, and she's just managed to hook it up so that she thinks... So that whenever she thinks push, push, then it can it, it basically she just tells it to tell the computer to do that input she needs to attack. In Elden Ring, it was, you know, attack. In a shooting game, it'd be shoot. But this just happens whenever she thinks push. Because that's the part that makes part of the brain quite an obvious part of the brain light up whenever you're physically pushing against an object. I mean, in fact, she probably does that. She probably sits there pushing against objects to try and make it trigger. <laughs> oh dear. Right, well, no, I don't know what's going on. We'll just have to do without it. Although, I don't know what that means. Will channel points work? Will channel points work still? I mean, mm, I'll try it one more time. Jesus Christ, look out! Oh my God, they killed Kenny. You bastards. No, it's not working. It's not working. It's, it's at it. It's at it. Well, well, whatever. We'll just have to do without do without now um we're gonna get into the middle of a bloody fight again oh my shield wasn't at max well that doesn't help i don't understand why it wasn't at max we're gonna bring you in don't know who you're messing with let's get him i mean admittedly it's a bit like should i go for the captain first or someone else I'm supposed to do my best to, like, not hit one of the damn asteroids. There's loads here. Flipping loads of them. Aha! And he's gone past me. 
Is it me or is there less ships this time? Got him. And they're great. They've got no shields. Go get them. I swear there was I swear there was more uh, ships attacking me last time. Got rid of my shields, but there's only one. Take that, boys. Why does it like slow down time and then you get all weird sounding? <laughs> I haven't the foggiest idea. I think it's pretty funny though. Hmm. Okay. That's good. That's good. Right. Let's check these asteroids. What have we found? So we've got iron. We remember that iron. I'm sure it might. It should be. It should be like. A lot of the other ones we've we've been seeing around Saturn. Iron, iron, iron. Iron. This is gonna get very annoying when there's like tons of asteroids around my ship. But then what can you do? Iridium. Yeah, we got iron and iridium. I might add that in in a second then. Yeah, okay, more iron. Iron and iridium. Let's lock, let's lock that before I forget. Uh, Starfield spreadsheet. Ding. Oh, it's on the wrong screen. And it won't show up then properly, will it? Uh, spreadsheet. Here we go. Right. Yes, yeah, so we, we did see iridium in the last location as well, didn't we? Can you highlight two things on a sheet? No, you can't. It's all right. Oh, it's just copied everything. We only need those two so far. We might find gold and nickel as well, but for now, just put them, them both. Yep. Four asteroids. Iron. I just bash one. I might have. Too far away that one still. Iron. Uh, it's getting gappy between them. Iron. Did you, did you pick up the iron? Iridium. That's just from the earlier. Iron. Come on. Come on, there must be something here other than uh, iron and iridium. There's a big boy asteroid over there. Let's see if we can blow up those ones. Palladium. We got palladium. We've seen palladium in some of the locations. I've never seen more than four in location, though. But you could say that might be because I'm I'm stopping every time. <laughs> I'm stopping every single time that I uh I managed to find a new one. Yeah, big boys. Come on. Go on. Yes. You take out a big one, I wonder if you get more stuff. Or nickel. Well, we can have a quick look. Maybe there is five. Whoa. A explosion. Do it. Do it. Wait, that's the wrong button. That one. Oh, did I just miss a, miss a speed past a deposit? Oh, come on, I'll turn around. Iron. Lots of iron. I'm going to get lots of iron doing this, but I can always just sell it if I end up with too much. I mean, how? Look how many asteroids there are. Oh, bumped into it. Well, we saw it was iridium anyway, so... Meh. One more. We'll have one more look. If I can't find any gold, then I'll give up. Then so palladium, nickel, uh, 
They're cool. Yeah. Like I said, it seems to be... Oh, there's gold. Okay, so maybe you can't... Maybe you do get f more. Because that means we've seen uh, nickel and gold as well as the palladium. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'll add those in. We've now got our list here. I mean, it may mean then that this one is the same. And that other one we saw earlier. I have palladium. I'm probably I'm gonna go on the basis it likely is because we mostly saw the same kind of stuff uh, in the same in the same sort of areas. Like we find one area there's iron, iridium, palladium, and platinum, but all the others all the others for the first like within inside the main asteroid belt, they were all the same: water, ionic liquids, tetrafluoride, carbolic acids, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And it wasn't until we got outside. There we go. We got out to Jupiter. We started seeing other stuff. And it instead became mostly iron, iridium. Uh, sorry, no. Mostly iron, iridium, palladium, gold, nickel then. And I wonder if there was a fifth one in these locations. But every single time I've only ever found those four at those places. Never anything else. So I'm, 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 I'm fairly happy going on the basis that this is probably the same in each of those locations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So that is... That is Dione. Dione's asteroid belt surveyed. And we're going to head down to the planet itself. I do want to get a nice Pikachu of said planet. So we're going to head a bit clo closer. try and get some of my asteroids out of shot but it's not easy damn things like to move here we are that'll do that's all i have to do it's not it's not it's not very hard then i just have to click uh save Ching. Yeah, at least that's one even if it even if it fails to send it to discord which can happen it will still save it now we're going to do a little quick bit of maths again see if i can prove that my my calculation is still working so we're looking for ah there's something right there's something there's the disc saturn's out towards the dark side although we're going to the abandoned mining platform anyway but i if i'm correct then because you can see the mining platforms on that side of the of the uh, the moon we should be able to still see Saturn from this location. That's what I'm going on. If my maths that I've been working out so far is correct. Sometimes it hasn't been, but I'm 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 I'm, I'm crossing me. Well, I'm crossing me ears, the titler. <laughs> that I'll be correct, yeah. I don't know though. We'll just have to find out. All clear. Time to land this ship. Nice. So we clicked on it. It was an abandoned mining. Was it an abandoned mining rig? I think so. I would have preferred. I would have liked a better way to cut my head out, but with that, without any proper AI programming in place. It's not. It's not smart enough to do that. So I've just. I've. I've just had to crop it with a no circle. No organics here. Uh, <laughs> the best I could do. Perhaps. Although I do realise maybe I could have made my chin go over it a bit more. I'm, I'm not too sure. So we have. We found an abandoned mining platform. What the hell is that? I don't know what it is, but I don't like it. Oh wait, have we found we seen these giant things before? I think maybe once. I think maybe once. I've got tons of ammo for this. Let's try using this one. Was I right about Sutton? Is it up there? Yeah, there it is. I was right again. I was right again. That's three out of three planets. That's three out of three planets where my algorithm has worked. <laughs> where my algorithm has worked as a result. Yeah, three out of three planets where my algorithm has worked. And as a result, we can see the planet from the moon's surface 
based upon where we landed. I'm really, I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> no one else solved that. I'm definitely the first one to solve it. Look at that there as well. Is that one of the other moons? It looks a bit too big to be a, a star. Could be wrong though. But of course, all the other moons, you can see all the other moons from the surface as well. Oh, look, there's one, see? There, big dark circle. I mean, of course, it isn't fully like the view from the planet because, well, they, there's actually an awful lot of mo more moons up there than just the seven they've got in the game. <laughs> there tends there tends to be like loads of them. I'm turning on a torch because this place is eerie and creepy as balls. The temperature is unreasonably low here. Is it? We should not stay long. Oh, it is. It's pretty cold, actually. Minus 179. It's actually slightly warmer than some of the some of the other ones we've been to. Let's jot that down though. Minus 179 degrees. I didn't mean to blow my face up. That's just because of the fact I used minus and minus. I use as a hotkey on here. I should use the other. Is that a minus? Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah. Thought I just deleted what I put. Oh, get rid of it. There we go. Perfect. So, more giant evil spider things. Hey, he's got some healing stuff on him. Emergency. Execute well, safety protocols this immediately. Is this good. is not a drill. Oh, surprisingly, um, that was surprisingly apt for her, because normally they're not very smart in referring to specific places we've found. Ground crawl space helmet. It's an alien bug paperweight. I might have it, but... I at least haven't found many of them. Injector cutter, mining jacket, a jumpsuit. We definitely got that, haven't we? Yeah. Injectors are drugs. Take the drugs. Thank you. Ammo. Ammo. System error. Critical compute error. All processes must be terminated immediately. Memory dump complete. I'd love to get some of these. They're pretty cool screens, actually. There's a secure access door that's blocked. Might find ourselves coming back there, then. Oh, hello. Hello, you little evil blighters. Jeez. Even level one's pretty powerful against, uh, against this, like... Gun. This is technically a good gun. This is a named weapon, and yet, and yet, it's still not good even against level one enemies. Hello, I see you. Maybe I shouldn't bother wasting ammo on it. Maybe I'll use the fiscal quarters. Oh crap! He's loading. Ah, melee. Melee! It's coming for me! Mummy! <laughs> I want my mummy! <laughs> Evil little blighters. Harvest organic resources from 20 creatures. Yes, because we've got the um we've got the upgrade from it now. I mean these swarmlings are interesting because they just sort of work anywhere. It's Stu! Look at that awesome head in a jar. It is awesome. Thank you, Stu. I wonder whose suggestion it was. <laughs> Thank you, Stu, for the uh, for the suggestion. Jeez. Uh, right, let's have a look. There's a swarmling. Yes, I managed to get the head tracking working. So it doesn't matter if I move my head. I mean, it goes a bit juddery look, doesn't it? It goes a bit jar. It's a bit jarring. But... Um, but it does, it, it tracks my head now. So I don't have to worry about trying to line up my head with the jar. It just stays in the jar. <laughs> it doesn't do scale very well. But if I sit back, it's, it shrinks. Oh, this, I don't know if it looks better when it's smaller. Maybe, slightly, I, I, I don't know. It, it, was, it was tricky to get right, but I think this is as good as I could possibly get it. 
so far. You've done some hands down amazing work there, buddy. Yeah, thank you. It was hard work because you said before people, of course, have made jars, and I looked, and there was people had made jars, but it wasn't easy to find one I could use correctly because I needed it in like different parts, different layers. So I had to find one and then chop it up. Most of the stuff online for it, I thought someone had, someone had made made one. Mostly online, it's people on like uh, Fiverr and stuff like that trying to persuade you to buy. To buy like a, we will draw your pet and family and loved ones as heads in jars. Like you were just trying to get commissions. <laughs> to try and to just um, to do that. What was that one? Calibrated, meh. We seem to have found an abandoned mining, mining platform. So not a mining base, because before we found a mining base, this one's a mining platform. It's infested with horrific space I don't know spiders a bunch of dead people oh I didn't mean to pick that cutter up uh, oh well I don't want the gimbal I know I have tons of them ejector we mine some of the asteroids again I think my ships I think my ships got to the point where it's got like it's almost got 10 little mini asteroids following it. <laughs> I wonder if they'll ever fix that bug. Oh, I'm outside. Oh, shit. There is more. Oh, crap. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? It's massive. That is that is frightening. Where's my, where's my big weapons? Use the boom boom. Crap, there's two of them. Ah, I'm inside. They can't get inside, they're too big. Ah, but the swarmlings can. The swarmlings can. That's one. But if they gather outside, that makes it a perfect spot for me to, uh, for me to throw grenades. What? I did not expect, uh, ah, no, they can shoot acid inside. They're shooting acid inside. Ow. Crap. Crap. How are these ones still alive? Grenade! Damn it! Reload! Melee! Melee! Crap, what's more? Okay, I got it. Jeez, and the bodies are like flying everywhere. Crap, there's another! What is going on? <laughs> there's another big one! Grenade! No, it's a small one! And a big one! Did I just shoot that grenade? I have tons of grenades, so I might as well just keep launching them out the door. Go on. It's almost got it. It's almost got it. Oh, wait. Is that Andresia down? Oh, she's back up. It seems I got the big sod. Jeez, look how massive they are. What the hell is it? The swarm sister. Ah! Shit! <laughs> These things are actually giving me that. <laughs> the heebie jeebies. <laughs> is that all of them? Please tell me that's fucking all of them. I'm almost dead as it is. And they're even more creepy, like floating around me. Ugh. I mean, they're horrible looking anyway. Sort of red, uh, red and gloopy and willowy and. Ugh. Uh, some of those words probably don't apply, but look at its face. You are ugly. You are disgusting. Monstrosities from out of space. <laughs> oh dear. Um, right. I'll take a health pack because I've not seen a bed. Oh, I'll keep out the fiscal. Cut a copper. Cut a copper, 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 get the copper. As you date bins do, our minesmen um, a tad frustrating today. Work was a little bit uh, tougher than normal. It wasn't bad per se, but just <laughs> a bit aggregate. Yeah, a bit aggravating at times. There's an axe there. Oh, it's the it's the same as all the other axes. Right. 
Nothing significantly different. Kata. Tiring. Get to go home tomorrow, but I won't be back till twat o'clock. Oh. Well, there'll be some, uh, there'll be some stew rating for you, stew, I'm sure. A minor utility outfit. Oh, no, we've seen that. I thought for a second it was like a new mining weapon. Uh, I was wrong. <laughs> More nickel. That seems to be it. I really did not expect to be attacked by a swarm. Like, if I hadn't been able to retreat back inside, I'd have definitely died. There was no, no, no way I would have survived that otherwise. <laughs> med pack, med pack. I mean, I guess I could have got out my best weapon, but I don't want to use... I don't want to use up all the ammo on that if I can help it. I mean, we haven't scanned any resources yet on the planet, but then again, that doesn't... That doesn't matter. We can get around to that in a second. And I used my algorithm again to calculate if Saturn would be visible, and it was. Look, it's directly above. It worked quite well, that actually. Is this a random occurrence? Well, the the um, the game told me. The game told me this location was here when I arrived. This so this isn't a procedurally generated area, technically. I don't think. I mean, it could be. Sometimes I've arrived in locations and it's told me to land at particular places on its surface, only for um, only for it to just produce procedurally generated locations anyway but this one i've definitely never seen before yeah so I've, i'm not too sure it could be a unique one i mean i'm waiting to see if there's any because if it's a unique one what i expect to find see that's just done a, that's done a full circle looks so it's got me back to the ship yeah Okay, that takes me straight back to the ship. We haven't we haven't been up the stairs, so we'll have a look there now. But I haven't found any like mm, you know letters or bits of information or anything to try and give you an idea of what happened here, other than all the people got killed by giant space. Oh crap! There's more. Oh crap! There's loads more. Grenade! 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 <laughs> I'm actually getting them all. Take your best shot. That was my last one though. There's another, there's another, there's another. It's coming. It's coming. Ah! Ah, it's like a face hugger. Stay away from me. You Ah bitch thing. Ah, I'm stuck, I'm stuck on the stairs. Die! Die! That was another! Okay, they're both dead. They're both dead. They're both dead. Is that for selling later or personal use? Is there more? I feel like there's something nearby still. Was there another big one? Oh shit, there is. Where is she? Oh, she's over there. And it's here trying to shoot me. A swarm mother! So this is the big mummy! Thing, whatever it is. Take that, you monstrosity! Monstrosity! We do not allow space to have horrible, horrible things like you in it. But this seems to be dead, but there's there's one more according to the radar. Where is it? Where is it? Milk it! I mean, I'll, I'll do my best. There might be some milk in it. We'll have to see. Aluminium. Wait, the radar's just turned around. Did it jump down? Is it something that jumped down that's now on the... Yeah, I think it is. It jumped down and now it's on the ground. Oh, crap! And it's trying to come back upstairs! Ah! Melee! It's okay. We've got... We got them all. <laughs> we did it, guys. We got them all. I told you it, it, it looks weird with my neck. I need to sit upright. That's the one thing I need to make sure to do. Then it, yeah, then it's not so, then it's not so bad. <laughs> my chin just sort of disappears inside the, uh, the base if I don't, if I don't sit up. 
<laughs> Alkaline's nickel. All right. There appears to be a control room above us. Oh, really? To figure out how to access it. She's telling me that there's there's more information above. Hopefully a bed. Because I'm not very well. Iron. Best not I mean, to leave anything useful behind. I probably don't need the iron, but Hello Nobody here. There's a What the hell is that? It looks like a giant laser. Or is it a, or is it some kind of antenna? Found a um, mining spacesuit. Deep core pack. I have a deep core? I should have a deep core. Star Roma Power Pack. Zeno Zenoware Tech. Uh, leatherware. No, nothing, there's nothing in this room to give us any indication as to what's happened at this location. Hmm. I mean, I did imagine that, that, that systematically exploring like this, we should manage to find places that we wouldn't find normally otherwise. Because like, the game won't ever necessarily tell us there's something there. There's a body there, but I'm not going to jump down for it yet. I'll we'll check it in a minute. I was very interested in this, uh, this huge device. There doesn't seem to be anything nearby to indicate what it is. We'll carry on upwards. She's told me to head upwards anyway. Oh, this is now confusing though. There's stairs to the roof. There's more enemies on the roof. I think I need a health pack. Oh no, this is... This is just like a tiny little hovel. Nothing of import there. There's one on the roof, but it's already dead. Unless it's one we killed and it sort of flew up here. Oh no, there's like a pile of them. Oh shit, Andresha, you gave me a scare. Ha <laughs> ha! Damn woman. You scared the shite out of me. Uh, uranium. Nice. Corrosive modified arc wheel wielder. It's just got a perk though, hasn't it? It's not anything special. Because it's not advanced or anything. Or refined. Or even calibrated. There's some ice on the roof. That's interesting. I see. It indicates how freezing cold the planet's surface is. Or. I think these guys may have been dead for quite some time. That's a turret. All right, I am going to take a medipack. <laughs> and save. <laughs> and save. Right. Okay, do it. He's just seen me. Gotta get loads. Oh, it's not dead. Damn thing. Gotcha. Any more for any more? I've got nothing else on the radar now. Maybe somebody set that up as a defense mechanism against the uh, the creatures. Shit, no, because they got inside. Fire! Ah! You're finished. <laughs> You're finished, she says. Oh, okay. She took them all out. I don't know if I need all these materials, but I'm going to collect them. Is there one here? There's a door. Yeah, somebody was hiding behind it, but they still there got killed. Are. What? This what? what? Well, she went invisible for like a second. Any more? Ugh. There's another horrible one up there. You know, I might take a very quick um, picture. Might take a very quick picture. Hang on. 
I see the damn torch on my headset lighting up the room and it's, it looks bad. Yeah, we're going to take a quick picture and say that we found a... Um, we found a mining base that's been overrun. Field note. I don't often do field notes for, for like places, but then again, I feel like this is the kind of place that's like really, it's like really cool. So I'm gonna do another, I'll do an input. Um, it was a mining platform, wasn't it? Mining platform. Abandoned, sorry, abandoned. Abandoned mining platform. Uh, and this is on Dionys. Um, I spelt it right. How, did, how, how was it spelt again? No, there's no S. Sorry, it's just, it's just Dione. There's no S on it. Yeah, D, D I, O N E. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll say discovered mining facility that had been overrun with horrific horrific swarming creatures no survivors <laughs> have I spelled survivors right? <laughs> <laughs> I really suck when it comes to sometimes little things like that. Survivors. Survivors. No, no, apparently... No, I, no, I did spell it wrong. I thought I was right, and then I really went, no, actually, it's, it's auto-corrected me. It's actually an O, not an E. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. No survivors. And we'll add a warning dangerous to it. <laughs> That's why I made that. That's why I made that warning dangerous logo, because I thought it wo it works quite well. <laughs> oh, there's a note. There is a note here. Lead. Ornamental bone. There is a note here. Dave, can you see down to the main deck? Dave. Is there anyone alive down there? I don't know, man. I can't hear anything. Those crabs are just going to keep coming. Where the hell are they coming from? We checked the ocean. There's no life down there. I think we brought them up here. Oh. What? Yeah. Do you know that barrier we've been trying to punch the drill through for the past week? Well, this morning we broke through. But it wasn't oil that came up. It was those creatures. I was here in the control room. Hundreds of those creatures climbed out of the drill too. Oh, shit. That was the explosion? Yeah. Right. Interesting. So they discovered... <laughs> not on Europa, then. This is the kind of thing I was expected to find on Europa. No, not on Europa. But on uh, <laughs> on Dione, they have... Um, they've said that these these swarmers... These swarmers have uh, emerged out of the ground. And they... While they were, while they were mining. That's pretty... Uh, that's pretty clever. I actually quite like that. Yeah, do they have any notes left on the uh, on the computers? This one's a drills operation panel. Unable to reach diagnostic network. No response received after 30 milliseconds. An alert has been sent to engineering staff. Cannot reach engineering staff. Right. Um, other one. It's the same message. Okay. Alien stir fry. Do they have anything of value? Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They had the um, they had the proof that they uh, after being attacked by these creatures, they killed one of them and turned it into stir fry. <laughs> Alien there's a there's an instigating equinox. It's just rank one technically. So shrapnel grenades, a bunch of grenades, and there's a magazine. Hey, what have we found? Solomon's Adventures number three. Okay, do me a save again. Uh, save. And then I will drop this on our magazine. Drop this on our magazine list. Where is it? There you go. 
Solomon's Adventures. I've not even found a Solomon's Adventures yet. I didn't even know that was a magazine. Solomon's Adventures 3. And it's uh, an abandoned mining platform. Abandoned mining platform on Dione. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Okay. So, right. Perfect. What does it do? Is the question, though. Increases weapon damage at night by 5%. Ah. Right. Okay. Weapon damage at night. It's a very interesting perk. I never expected to find one like that. Found, we've been finding ones for, like, on the ground or in space, but never one at night. Like, what if you're in space? Does that count as in, uh, like, night? Probably not. We're still not done, though. We're still not in, like, the main facility. Well, well, maybe. I mean, that's probably part of it. This, this looks like, this looks like the bigger, the bigger facility on the opposite side of this bridge. Crap, 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 crap. Uh, victory. <laughs> How many grenades did I just get? Not enough. Not enough. <laughs> not enough. <laughs> Bugger off! Ah, melee! 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 Got him! Shit me! Oh, there's a big one and all! Where's my grenades? I know I have more. Yes, I got some shrapnels. Throw! Crap, one followed. Ah, they run so fast! Melee! I definitely need definitely need a med pack. Melee! Got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Still more though. Still more lassie. <laughs> they really uh they've really rammed crap, there's one. They really rammed this place full of them. There's one left somewhere. Where are you? Oh, it's a big one! Grenade! Oh, did he just poison me? Watch out. Grenade! I think I need to take out the big guns. Let's see how fast the double A kills it. Oh, pretty quick. Pretty quick. They're not much of a threat when I use this weapon, but... <laughs> As I said, if I use it all the time, I'm going to end up running out of ammo really fast. Because it's it's that good. <laughs> it's actually really disturbing just how, like, violent everything is in, in, like, low gravity. Everything blasting around. Oh, dude, this room is a massacre. Flip. <laughs> oh, dude. Hey, he's got some chlorine for me. Hey, oh, here's the beds. I can have a rest now. Oh, that's good. What is the time? Two hour, 44 minutes. So there were no survivors. They were completely wiped out. Oh. See, it must be a proper place because she's commenting on what we found. Why is my... Oh, there it is. Planets. Okay. Um, right. We're just writing down what we found. It's two hours, 44 minutes is the time, local time. I forgot to do... Tefis yesterday. We might have to go back and do Tefis because I completely forgot. I completely forgot to do it. <laughs> yeah, two hours forty-four minutes, which means it's actually um, slightly higher than some of the places, other places we've found. Right. Oh, and then if I do my maths real quick, I do a uh, forty-four divided by sixty. It gives me zero point seven three recurring. So we know that the time it takes for it to rotate. Should be two days, well, 2.7 days. Put 2.7 free. And again, we can do a, we can do a quick check. Dione, there you go. Is it 2.7 free? I mean, they have it down as 2.7 six, so they have it down as rounding up, up the 2.74. But I'll, that's what they've used in game as well, so I'll, I'll keep it as that. I don't put it in brackets unless it's accurate anyway, like real life. 
But see, the maths works, didn't it? My maths works. I worked out how to do it and it and I was right. I haven't got a single one wrong yet. The spoils of victory. The only one the only Probably one that hasn't worked is Mercury, but that's because for whatever reason it's the only planet or moon we've come across that they just haven't matched real life for. I I don't know why. <laughs> They've matched every other one correctly. There's a couch. There's a... Oh, there's a, a rec room panel. Hmm. Stop taking the Zenoyaki. Oh, Zen... Yeah, because they have Zenoyaki, don't they? No, they have Takoyaki. They have Zenoyaki. <laughs> See, my chin is weird. I might try fixing that. What I did is I added an extra layer to basically put that in front. But I'm suddenly thinking maybe I... um Maybe I don't want it to go behind so let me let me try fix that but it's just uh yeah see it was just like that that's all that's all i did so i can turn that off and then it's i mean i don't know part of my brain thought that would be better having that on but then again it's for some reason in my brain it's not it's not it doesn't look right when i'm seeing out of the corner of my eye i think because now my chin at least my chin looks like it's more there <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I'll keep it like this it's not terrible anyway um <laughs> stop they come all the way from neon mum sends them and you know how rarely we get supply drops here next time i find an empty wrapper under someone's mattress your bunk is going to be is going right into the ice onto the ice i wonder if we can find where they drilled in oh it's a science crate we don't find many of those Bolstering UC security pack. It's definitely not very, not a very good one compared to my current one. Very cool. I don't imagine we're going to find much better um, kit until I start heading in outside the soul system because this is still technically a level one area. This is kind of why I thought I'd do them in order. We jumped straight into the uh, the uh, the deep end. Although I caught, in some ways I thought it could be fun if I actually I just got hold of a list of every, because you can see every place straight away at the start of the game, can't you? So I thought maybe maybe if I just listed every single planet and put them in, say, like a randomizer, and then the start of every stream, I randomize where we're going to go. Look, Looks like some of them were trying to get out, but they got killed. They got killed before they could escape. Credits, nickel... Alien pie uh, and copper. We're gun ready. There doesn't seem to be any more there. Currently, anyway, currently. I'd like to think that's all of them, but... <laughs> Imagine if you came here, like, right at the start. If this was one of the first places you visited, you'd be like, what the hell is happening? It's kind of a cool location anyway. Like, it's just this, uh... Well, there's, a, there's like a little mining point over there. So I have often wondered with any of the areas that are, that are pre-built, whether they, whether they put any other objects nearby that basically are references to it or related to it. Like maybe the point near here where they, you know, they dug through and woke up all the creatures. Maybe you can, maybe you can stumble across it if you explore the location. I really like that because then, then it'd give you a reason to definitely, definitely with anywhere that's pre-built, check the surrounding areas. Because there might be other stuff that's related to it there rather than it being all just procedural round one key location. Don't quite know though. But that would be good to know. But even with the procedure degenerated, sometimes they do relate to each other. We saw that what was that? The um yesterday we found the 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 piping location, didn't we? Yeah. And then further along we found a, a like a piping hub where it continues it continues the piping that is obviously meant to be going through the underground. Bedrocks. There was more here, but I think we've I think while we were attacking the others, we managed to kill all the... Are you quite sure you want to hold on to that? The, yes. Argus extracted jumpsuit. We've we've got one of those, haven't we? Definitely. Yeah, yeah. 
It must have been a serious bloodbath when these guys uh, showed up. Of course, it then raises the question, how did they get into the ice? Like, were they always down there? Or were they hibernating? Were they from another planet? Are they, did they evolve on this one? On this moon? Don't know if I need any of these, but you know what? I will take them. And it looks just like one of them killed all of those, although it could have been others and that then moved away after the kill. I can see we've got... What is it again? Extreme cold, ambient cold, and solar radiation again? Yeah. Yeah, that works. All right, so I'll, uh, I'll add that back into our spreadsheet. It's been the same on it's been the same on all the moons around Saturn so far. And I'm still going by the rule that it's during the day. During the day for most of the uh the stats. But I think that's it. We've been we've been full circle. But there is one place we haven't technically checked. And that's down on the ground. I mean we do need to therefore still do our geological survey. I've been trying to see if there is a ladder down, but there doesn't seem to be. Surely there must be a way to get up down. Ah, there you go. There's a ladder. I mean, I could have just jumped, but... How full am I? Uh, actually, quite full. I'm going to go to the ship and... Can I access the cargo hold from here? I can, actually. Yeah. Just dump the resources in. So oh, I actually I don't want to drop the constructed stuff. Just everything else. That's the topic coolant's manufactured, isn't it? Yeah. Manufactured, not manufactured, manufactured. It's inorganic. Uranium. Uranium water took 60 odd mass off me just in case it lets us do a um let's just do a fast travel later if we need to okay let's get down to the planet's surface but well, this is the um this is the longest we've ever spent at the start actually like checking out the location it's uh it's got for us to go to in particular oh there's an elevator down nifty i like that that's pretty cool. I wouldn't have found that if I hadn't booked. <laughs> Would you drink alien uh, alien milk stew? Tasty, tasty. I've often wondered about trying dog milk. They made a joke once in Red Dwarf, but there was actually some people that went around at some point letting people try dog milk. <laughs> Though I wouldn't milk iron. No not that kind of dog <laughs> i mean there's a bunch of cracked ice down here which i guess they could have put here on purpose but we haven't i haven't seen anywhere that the creatures could have come out of should we make should we make a guess and see if we can figure out where they may have come from maybe one of these other locations nearby well um we'll check the the actual map map yeah there you go highlighted two locations annoyingly in opposite directions from one another it's actually this area is not that big look it's a lot smaller than some of the yeah procedurally generated locations so that means that everything in this area may be as i said it may be all actually relevant so we're going to do our best to actually check all these places out so let's go have a look see Let's try and get let's try and get around here today. I mean, I want to get back to the corporate espionage. That was really interesting. But at the same time, I'm finding this moon rather fascinating. I didn't expect to find this here. I might actually do a since it's obviously like a real proper location, I might do a picture with it and all. Saturn seems to be staying in the same place. We can we could check again online, but I'm fairly certain it's gonna tell me that it's another synchronous yet yeah, another synchronous orbit most of the most of these moons around the gas giants are going to be 
because of the because of the difference in their mass versus the the size the scale of the gas giants they orbit then it's going to result in their their eventual orbits rotation being worn down until they end up in a stable synchronous rotation with the orbit of the planet that they are orbiting yeah <laughs> hello Stu nice dog there's a ship landing over there mm, but I was almost at this location we'll keep going this way I've not found anything we've not found anything to uh survey yet where's all the resources where's all the minerals I mean, I could scan that lead, but this, 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 as I said, this isn't how a geologist would do it. Well, I don't know about future geologists, but current geologists, they would take actual rock samples. So we need to find real samples that I can take, not just scan, not just scan underground deposits. Geophysicists, though, might try and work out what is underground using different um, using different measuring techniques. You, you try out different stuff like the electro electrical conductivity of the ground, the electrical um, capacity of the ground, like how much charge it can hold. That one's a very dangerous. That's a very dangerous um, test, though. You have to do that when there's no one else around and you have to wear protective gear because trying to basically pump the ground full of electricity can result in some serious accidents if you're not careful. <laughs> people, people, people have easily got themselves zapped. It's a crystal crater. So this is fascinating. These are, so these are a bit like the crystals we've seen on some of the other ones. Well, yeah, like yesterday's, but they were red. These ones are not. And there's a creature pile there. So it's like it's saying that there is life on this planet, even though there's no... Uh, oh, there's some water. There we go. So that's one of our... That's one of our items we can survey. <coughs> okay, let's do it. Right, make field note. Uh, input. Just shot the, the main things we did before, which was that we have found water on Dione. Uh, and I put then again, common liquid discovered as frozen ice. There we go. And then we're putting it under minerals because that's how the game is. That's how the game is um, categorizing them. And we're going to do the same. Oh, I've started randomly moving sideways. Don't know how I manage that. All right, take our water sample. I'd normally maybe use a core for ice. You'd maybe use a corer rather than just blast it with a mining laser. <laughs> After all, with, with ice, no matter what kind of ice it is, if you take a core sample, you, you should be able to then learn quite a lot of things. Like how, how long has it been frozen? <clears throat> whether there's um, anything you know interesting contained in the water there's more water there's some silver ah. not found much silver on planets yet we need to have a scale object I could use the alien bug paperweight but it's not a very uh, common object so I'm not going to this is why I need to get rid of these passes, though, because they're just, they're just everywhere. Yeah, let's go with the hammer. Right, pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, I hate this. Pick it up quick before it drops. Oh. oh, no! I picked it, picked it up. That was not what I wanted. Drop it again. Okay, grab. Come on, game. Just grab the hammer. Yes! Finally. Finally, we got the hammer. Where's my silver gone? There it is. There it is. Right. And then I'll just place it like that on the top. It's probably going to... Oh, The low gravity, man. It doesn't want to sit on it. Okay. 
No. Damn you, Hammer. Where are you going? Come back here. <laughs> what a pain. Yes, got it. It's all right. What I'll do this time is I'll drop it and then I'll very quickly switch to photo mode, like immediately. Now. <laughs> that way it's still in it's still in the shot so it counts it counts oh wait drat what rarity is in game silver i don't actually know oh it's one okay it's one ah. <laughs> oh you just want to take a picture and the game doesn't let you go on just a nice a nice picture. Yeah. Perfect. That's better. <laughs> Silver hammer. <laughs> Mineral input. <sighs> so we have discovered... Wait, where's my input gone? It's not showing up. Let's try that again. Input. Ah, yeah, there it is. Okay, we've got some silver. On Dione Sol. And then I put that it's an uncommon... Metal. Uncommon metal. That's all we that's all we need to do. Nothing nothing spectacular. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Right, now I'll take me hammer. We'll collect a sample of silver. Which gave me some platinum along with it. Hey. So we just need one more. Just one more to do fully uncover. The location's importance. I'll pick up this fibre and crap along the way. So what is it we're looking for last? Uh, it's not giving me... Oh, that's right. I have to be scanning something for it to be able to, just to come up. There's some lead. I think that's it. That's the last one, isn't it? Lead. So we'll grab this and then we'll check out some of these locations. There's... It looks like there's a ton of shit over here. Right, yeah. Let's do this lead first. So I'm going to drop in something else for scale. Let's pick something different. Zenoware tech. No. Uh, tower key. Tape measure. Yeah, I'm likely going to get rid of some of these keys. Like, I don't... I bet you there's loads of keys that you just collect and then you never need again. Once you found them, you just never need... I mean, once you've used them, the doors stay open, so you never need them. No, 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 come back, come back, come back, come back. <laughs> Man, this game. I'll have to do what I did last time. Quickly switch. Ah, no! Where'd it go? Oh, no, my tape measure! It just got sprunged! <laughs> Where's it gone? Hey, that was my tape measure! Come back! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, oh, I must have super bounced it and it's just gone launched somewhere. I bet you ain't even going to find it. Do you think it's in orbit now? Do you, do you think I've accidentally launched it into orbit? Damn it. I like that tape measure. The only thing I've found that, you know, measured lengths <laughs> in the game. Let's go with the Nova mug. I don't want to lose the Nova mug either, but... It's it's better than nothing. Place a mug on top. <laughs> Stop it, game. <laughs> you like collect it and it still goes flying. Let me just drop it. Just carefully drop it. And then wait. And then now. Take a picture. Though it's a bit skewy because of the because of the mug. <laughs> Oh, it only looks terrible, though, with the mug floating. That'll do. That'll do. The mug on the, mug on the rock for scale. The, mu the mu mug there for scale. That's fine. <laughs> Field note. Mineral. Input. We have found some lead on Dione. And that is a common... That's a common metal as well, isn't it? Well, I've been put admittedly most of the time I've been putting ore. I'm an ore. Um, yeah, yeah, that'll do. 
Okay, save. Done. Done! Ladies and gentlemen, we have, once we have collected a sample of lead from this planet, the moon, we have surveyed, surveyed another one. Hooray! That's exactly what we wanted. We've done it! On 48 planets surveyed now in Starfield. Do love these places. Do love this music. So now we're going to have some interesting fun. Can we discover if some of these in uh, locations are, are unique to this particular area? Or are they actually all, all really boring? That's going to be the, uh, the test now. While we run around, I'll have a look. I mean, part of my brain wants to say that that looks almost like a frozen lake. It does look like ice. Yeah. So this is more what I was expecting Europa to look like, maybe. With all these frozen surfaces. Nice. I didn't, I didn't jot down the terrain type. The biome. When we um when I was looking at it when we were landing. You can always check you can always check before we leave. Well actually I guess it doesn't really matter, you can do it from orbit. We have here a ship that landed and then some kind of basey place over there. Hmm. Very exciting. We've got one more day, one more day, and then it's uh, then it's the weekend. And it'll it'll be time to have some fun, relax, let our hairs down. I'm gonna do some testing on the computer with the PC version of Starfield and the PC version of Cyberpunk, and try and see how well I can get both of them running my P pc so i'm gonna do we are gonna do some test streaming at the weekend and i want to see what the difference is and if the pc version has improved because it we tried to stream it before but it was broke which is annoying because i want to learn the keyboard and mouse controls for it <laughs> um oh power circuits space trucker casual wear no, we don't need any of that yeah these aren't anything in particular are they they're just sort of like Objects you get strewn around the background. Just sort of show up. Put like a device there. This is a power generator. I think I've just managed to research these so I can build. Uh, I mean, I can't yet because I don't have. I don't have enough resources to do it. But it's this this point here is kind of like a little base, isn't it? You've got. You've got gas collectors power generator maybe some some sort of storage tanks here's a radar dish radio dish nothing there damn internet keeps booting me from the stream or or what are you in a are you in a hotel today Stu? i've made you a new um i don't know I don't know how funny you'll find it. Maybe. I've made you a new channel reward, Stu. Admittedly, it's the idea I had before the... Um, before I had the... Before you gave me the idea to do the head thing. But it was something I always wanted to do a head thing for. But it wasn't until I built this that I then made it managed to make the other one work. So now... Now, now I've got both. <laughs> what are these little little blob blobs? They're nothing in particular. That's just a rock, isn't it? Pipeline control center. Oh, so this is a bit like the pipeline one we found before. Ah, oh, where there was a ship that landed next to it. So this is exactly this is exactly the same as the one we saw the procedurally generated. 
place. So if it is, so if it is exactly the same, we're going to go around the corner, and there's going to be two dudes. One standing outside the ship. One standing inside the base here. That's what I'm expecting. There's a door just around the corner. Yeah, there it is. Last time we found the dude standing outside, and then the second time he was he was here at the bottom of the stairs. Is there anyone here again? No, this time there's no one here. This is the exact same it is the exact same location and the exact same layout. So this one uh, with the same thing as Senips Alpha sitting there and all. So this so this is a so this is quite obviously a procedurally generated location. So this this doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the other one we found. I'm going to now do a quick save and we're going to go on board this one. We'll see if this one takes off once I board it. So we definitely saw this one land though. So it was a little different, but somebody la someone landed it. Oh, this one's a UC Raptor. Oh, so this one's not got enemies on it. It's good to be back in our own ship. This is not our own ship, Andreja. This is another this is another person's ship. We don't own it. Love. What is she going on about? No, it's a captain. Hello. Oh god. You scared the shit out of me. Okay, I scared them. Right. <laughs> that was the plan. What happened? I don't know. I just have the worst luck. If the shielding one week, the grab drive the next. When everything's working, spacers show up. <sighs> I must have been born under a ladder covered in black cats. <laughs> Sorry, the hatch was open, so I let myself in. Was it? Damn, lock is busted too? Oh god, what else could go wrong? I'm on edge after the ship nearly blew up. Complete system failure after the last grab jump. I was barely able to land her in one piece. Anyway, I'll be here for a while. If you want to hang out, you can, but I won't be much company. Mm, that's it. Okay. And then I guess you could, you know, you could steal some stuff from her ship if you wanted to. We'll have a, just a quick gander around. So it'll be interesting to see what it's like. Though it seems like it's quite a small one. Yeah, just some hatches. Just some hatches. And, uh, is this a uh, sleeping quarters? Yeah. Emergency kit. No. Oh, we'll head out. I mean, I doubt you're ever going to get any, like, unique rewards from some of these little ships that just show up. But that was an interesting difference. What's new? Oh, what's the new one? Oh, that's... It's one of the channel commands. I mean, when you click on them, doesn't it come up with what's new? I always thought when you click it, it comes up with a big new thing. Um, there's one on there called Nyan Wilson. That's the new one. That's the new one. <laughs> I'm trying to not laugh. Um, where, where are we? We're here. And... The... Another object's this way. Okay. It's a thousand points. What does it do? It forces me to sing. It forces, <laughs> forces me to sing uh, Epic Nyanka. I'm not wasting my precious points. No, I'm sure someone will, someone will click it before long. <laughs> it's a whole 30 seconds. That's why I made it expensive. There we go. So they just flew away. Is the next one? No, you have done it. Wait, nothing's happened. Why has nothing happened? That's not right. Oh crap! Is this because of the issue we've been having with Twitch not working? Doesn't matter. I'll do it manually because it still shows up on my thing that you redeemed it. But we, yeah, we've been we've been having str uh, trouble with. The bot today. So the deaths, the death count has broke. Look, the death, the death count has broke. So I'll need to update it with an extra death when we, we get a chance. It's all right. I'll do it manually. <laughs> I have a button that can trigger it, but <laughs> jeez. Oh, well, I don't have a proper button. I'm gonna have to just actually find it and then click go. 
uh there we go right ah i, I haven't i'm not the best at singing this yet but here we go <laughs> uh bit fucking weird but uh, but um i like it adam says i either joined at the best moment or the worst not sure which <laughs> well i'm sure it was rather disorientating adam yeah <laughs> see look that's working that's 500 points it's good though 500 it was a thousand wasn't it the um but you think you're saying that I should reduce it to 500 points? <laughs> worth, worth. You think it's worth. Okay, I'll, I'll lower it to 500. The point of the points, though, is it's whether or not it gets spammed. <laughs> so I'm going to drop, I'll drop it to that. But then, yeah, if it gets spammed, then I'll, I'll have to put it back up. Um, although I guess I do have it on a cooldown. But change it to 500. I mean, admittedly, I've, I've got summon, summon Todd at 500 as well. Wait, hang on. It hasn't changed. Yes, it has. It's just not changed on the... Huh. Huh. It now says 500, but doesn't hasn't actually changed on the actual page. In Streamerbot. I don't know what's going on with Streamerbot today, then. It just seems to be busted. It's being weird. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> head in a jar is... Pure genius epic, love that. Or I'm a cheapskate. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. Uh, Stu, Stu is being humble, but it was uh, it was in fact Stuart's suggestion that I I uh, I do indeed find or create a Futurama head in a jar, which surprisingly never occurred to me before. Not properly. No, it never it never occurred to me to try and do it like this and i also was a bit now i was a bit confused as to what do i do for clips what do i do it's not a tv it's a head in a jar it's not a tv like everything else has been tvs but this one is definitely not a tv so how do i do the clips that they still show so this is this is what this is what i did <laughs> it's probably not the best example it's a bit zoomed in um Maybe let's try charging. You can see it's slightly better there. Slightly. <laughs> what I did is I made it. I, re I flipped the image and basically turned it into a reflection. So it's the, it's the, the idea is that I'm look watching. The head in the jar is watching a TV and the clip is playing on a TV. Yeah, the clip is playing on a TV. And so you are seeing the reflection of the TV in the glass of the head in a jar. <laughs> it's the only way I could think of it making it work. I'm like, nothing else would work. Ah, it's an abandoned mine. Okay, okay. So this is this is not a, this is a procedurally generated one as well, then. This one is not related. I mean, well, I mean, hmm, it is a mining location. So it is kind of related to the place we've just... We've just been slash discovered. You did the work and it's absolutely ace. Yeah, no, I probably stayed stayed far too stayed awake far too late last night. Gocking around. <laughs> After the stream. Because I got it so I got it so close, the face tracking. And then I and then I found maybe a better way to do the face tracking. And then that didn't work because the actual um the mod's broken. Then I try to upgrade the mod, but it is it is the upgrade of the mod that breaks my OBS currently. So the upgrade's broken. I had to roll it back. And then I went back to my original plan and eventually it worked. <laughs> you would have never thought uh, that level of detail. <laughs> I mean, the, the only other thing that I'm maybe missing now is we maybe need to have... Remember we have, we have a summon Todd and a feed Todd. Well, maybe I need... 
Maybe we need a button so that when when I'm in the jar, you can you can remember how they get fed. They get little sprinkles. They get little sprinkles on the top of the jar, don't they? And they go. Oh. <laughs> I thought that might be quite entertaining as well. Feeding time. That was episode one. That was episode one of Futurama back in the day. Man, I've always been a massive fan of Futurama. I, do, I, I just don't feel like it's ever really had... It's reached its full potential. Quite often, they, they make they, they make so many episodes that are just based off, like, one little thing. And you're like... You know, and, and making a whole joke about it. Hats off to my chap, you've nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think there's any way I could have done it better. Like, I honestly can't think of anything that would improve it other than the fish flakes. <laughs> head head food. Yeah. Actually, if it had, like, a special container for the head the head flakes, then I'll have to add it. That's some treasure. I'll have to add it in, like, that... Uh... Damn it, I'm too far away to hit them with my laser. Well, let's get closer. We got rid of the... Where is he trying to run? Dude, there's a door there. Oh, dude, we, we, did we level up? Oh, nice. We leveled up. But what I'm probably going to do is... I wanted to make sure before we leave the system that we're ready to do botany and zoology. So I'm going to grab a zoo uh, botany one as well. Well, I actually quite liked it at the, the top. Look, so the scientific study of flora, while important on Earth, became even more essential as humanity began exploring alien worlds. In zoology, the new species is blah, 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 blah. Uh, make the food flakes look like tiny sandwiches. Oh, yes! <laughs> well, I could probably just do that by making, like, really tiny emotes. Yeah. Tiny emotes. But yeah, that works quite well, doesn't it? Mini, mini sandwiches. <laughs> Sealants. Bibu uh, kududududu. Grenades. Feed Wilson uh, goldfish flakes. Oh, did you not? Did you not get that? That's because as I said that's what they did in episode one of Futurama. Stu, classic, classic. It was Leonard Nimoy as well, wasn't it? It was all like, it was all like, we live, we live here in lives of content, quiet contemplation and discussing, you know, intelligence of things. And then they go feeding time, and then he's all like, I'm not, 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 I'm not. I've had enough of this. Was Leonard, was Leonard Nimoy alive when they did that episode? Because obviously they they must they must have someone fill in for him in a lot in a lot of things I imagine where they've you know they've replaced people. I mean I wasn't it wasn't until I rewatched recently the in preparation for Starfield the um the Yellow Submarine by the Beatles. I know that might seem a random choice, but yeah I did. Uh, and it wasn't until I got to the end of the credits that of course it said that. I've forgotten which one it was that died. I feel like a prick for forgetting. One of them, one of them, obviously had died by the time they made the film, so they had someone else stand in to uh, do his voice. And I just found that rather fascinating. I was a bit, oh yeah, yeah, of course. Sometimes they have people like you know, replace them. There's a the turret control, but we've already uh, destroyed all the turrets. Oh well. I'm pretty sure that he was him voicing it and him later again in the Star Trek episode. Ah. I can't remember what year Leonard Nimoy died. There's the one, the two. Switch in, switch in, good. Right. I mean, it's kind of been my opinion with the most recent uh, episodes of Futurama, as I was saying before, about how they, um, they just they're not they're not like those those old ones about star trek and stuff they were hilarious but them like it seems like south park and all the shows recently they all just they all just do episodes just commenting on the recent events in some ways it's like all right but in other ways it's like mm, like it's not it's never very imaginative is my problem 
I guess, out of the, the newest ones. One of them is, one of them's like a reference to Dune, and that one's more like a space adventure, and that one I, I, is probably my favourite of the others. But the rest were all, oh, we're going to do an episode about COVID. We're going to do an episode about Amazon. <laughs> Working in Amazon factories. And it's just like, man, like every, every show does that. Like, we're... Where's the original stuff? I actually cannot be bothered to hack anything right now. So you know what? I'll just leave it. I mean, I don't even know if I can be bothered to go inside this mining base. Because I remember this one. It's absolutely massive. And it's going to take us ages to go around it. And I know that we're just going to find the same magazines that we found in there previously. Because we've we've been inside this mining base twice, technically. Because it's because it's procedurally generated, we have found it twice, and we have been in it twice. Well, there's a space still hiding over there. I was just killing these dudes to try and get some um, well, XP in life. Go on, get him. So the mining laser still does a fair whack of damage. I spoke with someone the other day who said they actually got rid of it. They don't carry it around anymore. It's like, what, how do you mine stuff? They're like, oh, I don't bother. What? Why? <laughs> Why would you not bother? <laughs> the whole point <laughs> is that you're in, in space mining stuff. Um, was there many more? There was definitely one more object we saw. But yeah, I was really hoping we'd find like the location where they said, you know, these creatures are coming out of the ground. I was really hoping we'd find that location where that was happening. I think that on the opposite, opposite side from it, there was definitely one more place. The only place I've got on my radar right now is one over there. Now, I was really confused, right, about um, when you build a base, there's a radar, and it says it increases the range of your radar. But, like, I've got range on screen right now, and it says 30 meters, and that's only increased by you upgrading the perk. So I was a bit like, well, it's not in it's not increased it. Like, I've built rad rad um, radars twice and stuff. I'm thinking, oh, it's not increased it. I found out later on, they mean the range in which you pick up things like the caves and undiscovered locations that's all they mean that's all they mean so it does increase the you know the likelihood of you or that it increases the range at which you'll find bases and stuff you haven't discovered yet but it doesn't actually increase the range of the hand scanner <laughs> wilson my love i'm shattered you did 52 hours damn Stu. yeah 10 minutes than passing out no no don't worry Stu. you go have fun you go do you I mean, do you know, um, I'm not going to make it to 10, sorry, I'm out. <laughs> no, it's too. No, you go, you go rest, you go rest. Sleep well, and we'll, uh, we'll have dinner ready for you later. Tomorrow. <laughs> right, oh, let's carry on this way. Just quick look, quickly looking at the head jar again, trying to figure out the, um, I made it. I made the glass see-through, of course. Um, we tried to make sure it's got the right colours for the liquids and the bubbles. I think it's worked. I think it's. I think it has worked. I had to basically. I had to basically layer it with a bunch of different, like opaque layers and non-opaque layers and translucent layers and stuff like that. Yes. I mean, this says cave, and I'm wondering again, is this going to be another procedurally generated cave? But it means that even if you go to a place like this, it's got like a key location there, where my ship's landed on that mining platform. Even if you go to a key location like that. Well, I just did a. Ooh, is this where we're going to find the creatures? Do you think there'll, there'll be those creatures in here? We wanted to know if we, we could find where they came from. Oh, there is a bunch of eggs and stuff in here. The eggs? Just... They must be. They don't look like a geological formation. Some silver. I don't know how oh and uranium. I don't know how common some of this stuff is gonna be later on. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get what I can when I see it. Oh, oops. 
That's beryllium. Silver. No, there's a little box. Why would there be a little box in this in this cave? Why? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Oh, cobalt. So you can see, look, the color of cobalt. It looks looks like it's cobalt, doesn't it? One of the things I've not done yet is try comparing it to like real iridium. Yeah, we found some interesting stuff in this cave. Not a rock pile, though, is there? When you find a rock pile, it tends to contain a lot more materials. I'm stuck. Oh, no, there we go. Let's get out of this cave. There we go, yep. I did have to disable, so I have my one button that I use to change whether my fate, you know, whether it's my camera's on the, the flat screen TV or the small TV. But again, this isn't a TV, so I've disabled that button. So I can't switch channels between the two. Because it wouldn't um it wouldn't make sense to me to be able to switch channels on a head like how would how would i do it make the head disappear when i switch to the big screen so no as long as the head is out i can't change channels <laughs> i thought i might as well for the same reason then because it's not a tv i maybe need to edit it so that whenever the head comes out that where it says tv gets replaced by head jar <laughs> with a little arrow <laughs> Otherwise, I don't think it'd make much sense to me. Right, let's have a... Let's just zoom out. Now, I'm going to have a quick... While we go... There definitely was one more location on the opposite side. I mean, maybe it'd be easier for me to fast travel back to the ship. And then we get back out the ship and have a look again. Um, I'm having a quick look at the... Our list for the planet. Checking what we've, we've done. Resources. We've done that. We've got all our rock samples not recorded the biome and we've not recorded something else I don't know taking off immediately or are there other matters that require your attention yeah we're checking one last location and then we're going to go back to the we're going to travel travel back to our corporate espionage location oh, that's where we just were oh there it is yeah there was there was an object the opposite direction a fair way i mean seeing as they said that the uh you know that the drills let the creatures come up i was hoping that we'd spot where they you know the creatures emerged but we can't see anything here hmm. yeah, 800 meters that way there's something that's originally what it said on the radar that there was something one direction and oh there's another thing over there wonder what that is i mean that's the thing you can spend technically you could spend ages uh visiting all the places in these locations the kick is just going to be that a lot of it is because it's procedurally generated a lot of it's going to be very similar Though that may be less of an issue the further we get into the game. Because I'm sure that the further, the further you get in, it's going to start trying to generate things you've not seen before. Uh, as well as, of course, you'll be dealing with the creatures and all sorts of stuff. So I am expecting this to get a lot more interesting the further we get through it. Oh, so they couldn't do... Like, they couldn't do too much with souls moons and planets because well we already know we already know a fair whack about them like we know they don't necessarily have any life or at least not obviously we know most of them are just pretty basic barren rocks so it's the ones outside of sol's system that they've you know they maybe know a little bit about some of them mostly through Mostly we've had to, because of course we haven't managed to get any probes to say another another solar system. Imagine that. Imagine one day the human race is going to get a probe or a spaceship out to another solar system. I believe it will happen. I believe it will happen. And it will be astounding to people when the pictures come back. They'll be like, oh, this is a place that's literally, 
literally light years away and we are we've sent back pictures oh, it'll be fantastic but yeah other than we don't know what any any of these systems really look like or their planets really look like the civilized uh, the civilite the civilian outpost muddling up my tongue there civilian outpost that just randomly has a space suit outside in a box oh that apparently has a legendary mining helmet but again it's it's really annoying we find these things look that say legendary but you can see at the top well you can, you can partly see it says sensor chipped deep mining space helmet so it's got a sensor chip meaning you can fire better while moving it's got radiation resistance it's got oxygen uh, better oxygen use tally forgot the word probably um oxygen retention someone like something along those lines <laughs> something something along those lines <laughs> but um it's because it's not calibrated refined or advanced it doesn't have it's not good that's that's my point it's like its stats aren't any better than any of the crap we've found so far i'll take it well, actually, no, I won't. I was going to say, I'll take it because surely it's more valuable. But looking at it, it's not. So finding stuff that's got perks on, as legendary or whatever, that doesn't affect whether it's worth more money. Again, it's probably whether it's advanced, refined, or calibrated that determines... Wow. Check out these hatches. Wow, this is like a really old... This is like a really old school base then. There's an E on there. Although the tech here is obviously not super old, but then yeah. So it did say it's a civilian outpost. So you got these old beds. Oh, I've been locked inside, or is that no, it's because she's trying to come in. Monopropellant. There's a locker. I'll have a quick quick nap in the bed, actually. A quick two a quick two hour two hours and forty four winks. Was beginning to wonder if you <laughs> two hours and forty four winks in this bed. Well, there's some cred sticks. I'll take this. Playing cards. I think I've got every card by now. I probably need to check. It would annoy me if you can't get like all 52 cards in the game. Because you have all these individual cards that are lying around. So it's like, so surely you can collect 52. Like a full set of 52 cards to make a deck. <laughs> I mean, this is intriguing, though, that we've managed to find a location. It's apparently a civilian base, and yet they don't we don't seem to find any civilians here. And it's letting me take everything, almost like it's saying that it is unoccupied. Sealants. So he's got these little jellyfish. They're still alive. Now, the thing about jellyfish is they can go quite... They can go quite some time... Well, then again, they, maybe, they look a little bit dead, maybe. Although they're not upside down. Um, the thing about jellyfish is they can go quite some time without food. All they do, all they do is just like to conserve, conserve themselves. They basically kill off parts of themselves, and as a result, the jellyfish, the jellyfish shrinks. Yeah, the jellyfish gets smaller. So they, so they just, they, they basically eat themselves. I guess you would say. So look, there's more stuff now. There's a cave over there and another unknown over there. And that looks like something else over there that we've definitely not been to. So this is my point that you can just you could just you could just keep going forever. But we're not we're not we're not gonna do that, no. I'm gonna go drop off some shit in my bases. Because we've been picking up resources. And then we're gonna carry on our uh we're gonna carry on our no, 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 it's take, trying to take me back to the quest. No, sorry. We're going to carry on our, our quest to do corporate espionage for the Ryujin Corporation. I'll go to Freya. I'm going to dump my... Because this is where I dump off my... Manufactured resources. Oh, why have I not... Why have I not landed on the, pl on, on the planet? That was weird. Something happened to my base. I don't know. I know I've not been to that research station yet, but I'm saving that for when we actually do this planet, when we survey this planet. 
<laughs> Whoever, however long, however, however far away that is. Could be months, could be years. I mean, maybe I'm going to have to start doing some at weekends to get more planets done. I don't know. But I already stream quite a lot as it is doing it every weekday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stu did a barrel roll, but yeah, it's not worked. So yeah, something's wrong with Twitch today then. So, oh, well, either something's wrong with Twitch or... What the hell is the other one? Can't remember. Well, that's only 80% full. Why are these... Why are these sat here then if they're only 80% full? If I go to here then... Yeah, there you go. I can just dump in the four things I'm carrying. But I was going to check if I can build a new one now then dump everything from these boxes into that that new one let's have a look quest oh no is it broke is it broke here damn it every time every time i have a damn base it flipping breaks it's all right what i can do is do warehouse b3 large no i need more titanium yeah, titan titanium is my restricting factor at the moment. But that's not the end of the world. Because we're going we're gonna to be able to do that soon. I am a little bamboozled, though, in regards to... So, I, I did the perk that now means that I should be able to get creature resources on a planet, yeah? Yeah. So you can then gather organic resources. And put them in these boxes. But there isn't, there isn't anything here to build a habitat for a creature. There's literally nothing. Well, there's all these robots that I've made. Some of them are mighty fine looking. This one here, a mobile. Though again, it uses up loads of titanium. So I am, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want tons of titanium. I like that you can build all these robots there. That's pretty snazzy. It's more, it's more robots than we ever had in um, Fallout. And I don't think I've even finished researching all of them. <laughs> Refrigerators, foods, posters. What did I just pass that was... Mounted Beetle. Oh. Yeah, with adhesive. I never, I never seem to have any adhesive. I don't even know where to find it. We don't seem to have a way to make it. Unless I'm mistaken and it's actually like a really obvious way. Even here, there's no... Yeah, there's no, there's no option then to build this... Um, there's no option to build this damn thing. So yeah, the, the the creature thing. Maybe you have to. Maybe you have to. Maybe you have to finish fully surveying the planet first. I don't know. I find it intriguing, but it's yeah, it's surprising that it doesn't it doesn't work the way I was expecting. By the way, with the head, I was trying to decide whether to... Actually, would the barrel roll... Would the barrel roll even work on this head? I've never tested it. I might have to add it as an option. <laughs> Do a barrel roll. There it is. Okay, uh, test. Do a barrel roll! Okay, it plays the sound, but it doesn't actually do the barrel roll. No. Because it's doing it on my, um, it does it on my green screen camera, right? Yeah, not my regular camera. Maybe I'll move it to the regular camera then, because if it's on the regular camera, it should do it on all the layers. Let me see. Where's me? There we are. Webcam. My webcam layer has. Let's just get a camera so I can check. Webcam layer has all the right filters on it, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so it can it can do the barrel. Yeah. So I'll just have to do it. I'll just have to add it to that particular layer. And then it will work regardless. I just didn't want it necessarily messing up any recordings when I'm like recording my camera. But then I never I never need to record my camera on its own unless I'm like making a I don't know, a YouTube video. But why would I like we don't ever record my room, for example. Because it's all that's behind me right now is a green screen. <laughs> Okay, let's change that to there. Reset spin source. Hang on. Source camera. Surely it needs to be source reset spin on webcam. Huh. Okay. 
Where, 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 where is it? This one here. Oh, I see. It's doing it to that one. Okay, no, I think it... Oh, it is doing it. It is doing it to the whole layer. Ah, right. But the head, the head in the jar. In which case, it was already perfectly fine. I didn't need to change. I didn't need to change it. Um, at least I don't think so. What have I changed it to? Camera record. Filter state. Barrel roll doesn't need to be on what the hell have I done camera barrel roll camera reset chroma camera oh right, no it was I had it on chroma camera so it was only doing that one and not the whole layer mm. let's let's test it let's test it on the other one so let me just enable that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me una enable it on that one. So that's the one I changed, isn't it? Yeah, and then enable it on the other. Oh, I don't know if again it's just not worked. Do a barrel roll! No, again, it it does it, but it doesn't doesn't work on the head. I'll have to I'll have to add it as an extra layer, extra rule for the head specifically. <laughs> that way we can get it to make the head do a barrel roll. <laughs> I wanted to check them. Yeah, could I do a? I rarely ever use it anyway. Can I do a research here? Resource misc notes. Aid. Damn it all. It's not working. Yeah, it's annoying. Sorry, Adam. That it, of course, you tried to do a barrel roll as well, but it's not. Yeah, it's not playing ball. Something's wrong with Twitch today, and it's just not sending through the code. The uh, commands. They show up. They show up in my activity feed, but that's going there. That's the activity feed directly on Twitch itself. Looks really weird. At least when I'm zoomed out. When I'm zoomed out, my eyes look kind of blue. It's really odd that. Because they're not. I know they're not. They're not really blue. It's probably just with the, the green tint of the uh what I what I call jar juice. <laughs> Head jar juice. <laughs> um Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Uh, but it's odd that because I've always but then again I guess my eyes have always been sort of bluish green but then why when it's got green jar juice why would they suddenly appear more blue unless for some reason that's amplified the difference to it being blue anything I could think of yeah we're gonna just quickly throw a Yuko's coffee oh they let me keep they let me keep her coffee didn't they with a bit of extra punch. I like how it's a unique item. Well, I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna get rid of it then. I'm gonna keep that. I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna log it. <laughs> no, I was just looking for Synapse Alpha. Alpha. Where is it there? And we'll just do the same. This is obstructive. No, it's not. What? The game suddenly decided that this object is obstructed. Obstructed by what? There's nothing else here. Let me try moving it then slightly. Right, exit. Now, it's not obstructed. There's nothing else here. There's the lab. And apparently the lab's obstructed and all. Damn it, the game is glitching something fierce today. Well, I've just wasted that Synapse Alpha then because I can't use it unless I, well, unless I go, unless I, unless I, unless I take drastic measures and we, um, 
I don't know, move this to a different room. Then see if the damn thing works. Just put it, just put it there. It still says it. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It must be the same thing that's causing me to not be able to do a to do a thing. Um, uh, zoomed out. Oh, and I fell. I'm not over mass, so that's fine. Because I know we have picked up one piece of contraband. Yeah, so we're going to go drop that off at the contraband location. That's why I'm doing that before I head to Neon, basically. There's my base, Port Naga. There's Port Naga. Oh yeah, no, so I haven't I haven't named that um I haven't named that base there yet. The one on my tropical planet with the uh, with the sea in view. So did you have any name for Adam? We were we were talking no before, weren't we? Life signs. One less thing to worry about, I suppose. But whether we were gonna add a uh but what what sort of name that we could uh, come up with for your for, for for your name to name after you, Adam? <laughs> What we were discussing before, was it the tea party or something like that? The tea terminal. Okay, right, yeah, dump that off. I do need to have a go trying to shift this contraband at some point. I think I now have a ship that has um, shielded cargo. The problem is I'm not going to be able to put it into the cargo with the ship if the storage is full and the ship storage is currently very very full yeah look it's got 239 mass in it so it's 2339 mass so unless i have more uh, unless i increase its cargo space i wouldn't be able to do it unless i can dump the cargo somewhere and i haven't been able to build enough large storage units yet to actually well do that yeah Right, let's go back to Aquila. We're gonna we're gonna continue our quests then. We've finished our surveying, we've done quite well. We've finished our surveying of Dione. Discovered a mining platform that's been overrun with horrific beasts. No survivors. They uh, unfortunately awoke while mining mining the near uh, the, the moon. <laughs> you might be able to tell I'm a bit tired. As I said, I stayed up late last night. Oh, wait, Aquila City? Hang on. Oh, that's right. No, they did. They wanted me to go to Aquila City to... Lorendo Firearms. Oh, that's right, because they wanted me to... Yeah, basically, to plant evidence. Incriminating evidence. But they said it was all right, because the, uh, the incriminating stuff was all stuff that was being hidden by them anyway. I know Aquila City rather well. Perhaps better than I would like. So we're we're still we're still on the moral high ground at the moment. Thing is, I like Laredo Firearms. She sold me my first unique weapon. Hmm. I'm still not great at uh, naming things. Can I steal Serenity? All sorts in Aquila City. The Serenity. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll do that because it, it will raise an interesting question. People. People. Um. People will ask. People will ask if that's a reference to Firefly, and I'll say no, it's a reference to Adam. <laughs> Where does it want me to play the, place we'll the incri the incriminating we'll evidence? What well, there? I think you'll find that we carry fine weapons of all kinds. Where does it want me to put it? The UC can't be that bad, can it? Is it in the back room? No, because it's just a bedroom with a very nice picture of a of a river. Well, yeah, no, it's a river. It's quite a good one as well, though, because they've they've shown all the different um all the different. Oh wait, maybe it's above us. It could be upstairs. Yeah, I do feel kind of bad about this though, because I like Laredo. If you're looking to browse, you're in the wrong spot. Who's this dude? 
Raider employee. Ah. So I need to try and get into that room without him uh, spotting me breaking in. Fortunately, I do not have the perk to tell me whether or not I'm visible. He is facing the opposite direction, so we're gonna we're gonna go for it. See if I can't get in. <laughs> okay, right, that's one, that's two, three, four. I hope you can succeed at that before we are discovered. He doesn't seem to have noticed. Fruit seller. I was just wondering if there was any unique books here, but it doesn't seem to be. No, we're just trying to use the computer, but again, I don't want him to spot us. Let's try it here. Did you pick? Did you pick the lock? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. That one. That one. That one. And that one. The novice ones are easy now. Announcements. This is a reminder that all security training is mandatory. As you are all aware, our quarterly meetings for actual processing attendance is not mandatory, but secure connections are required. We encourage anyone who wishes to contact uh, join to contact IT to compare their setup secure. You know, the press has recently reached out to several members of our staff. That's it. Oh, okay. So that's not the planting of the evidence then. Oh, does it want me to... Does it want me to plant the evidence in the chest? Okay, well, we'll, tr we'll, tr we'll try after. Hack this one as well. No. Um, two, three. Yeah, got it. Got it, got it, got it. It's that one. That one, that one. That one. And the split. Yeah, there's nothing in it. Right, and then I basically put in it the confidential files. Which I've not read. I guess I could have read them. Basically sneak my way back out. Document tray stuck on the two playing cards in it. <laughs> As I said, I do feel a little bad. But then again, if it's true stuff, then I still feel like I'm on my... Um, I still feel like it's not super There's elite. not enough to do around here. I mean, I'm not one to steal weapons, but I want to have a look, see what's inside some of these rooms. Because this is a this is a place where she makes firearms, after all. The music's surprisingly peaceful for you doing stuff like breaking into people's buildings and corporate espionage. Oh, it's got spice and argon. Oh, apparently that doesn't that doesn't count as stealing. <laughs> Which is funny. Right, we'll head out now. Just do your business and move along. Although I'll, mm, I'll check if I she's got. I think you'll find that we carry fine weapons of all kinds here. Here's I wonder if she's got any new weapons. Right what has she got? Coachman, a tombstone. She's got refined, and she's got she's got advanced ones now that she didn't have before. So these advanced ones are obviously going to be significantly better than the ones I've been using previously. Find a find regulator. No, that's refined. So she only has one of them in it, the advanced coachman. That's the best one she technically has at the moment, then. But I still don't have too much ammo for that gun, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste time buying it. But yeah, I do. I want to try and learn what'd be better with that. Now, I'm not one to try and uh do too much fast traveling but then you know our, our main goal is to do all the surveying of planets which doesn't leave us all that much time to do side quests so i'm actually decided when we're doing side quests i'm just gonna do fast travels rather than cock around trying to fly the ship back and forth it's not like we can fly it properly anyway we just go from one place to another anyway so <laughs> So I can understand why Bethesda included that as, you know, the point. You don't have to, you don't have to do the fast travel. You are listening to the settled system to but I also would prefer to be over the option to, well, to not have to 
Get out of my face. Fast travel if you don't want to. But we still haven't figured out a way to properly land on planets. Right, that's the second that's the second uh, task they set me done. Third, if you include the getting the coffee. Yeah. That would be uh <laughs> That'd be interesting. I kinda wanna visit their other offices now. That's tequila tea. So they've got a tea they've got a tequila tea. Adam. Although I don't know if it actually has tequila in it, or if that's just the name. And I'm probably carrying some now. Am I, am, am I pronouncing it correctly? The under T. No, tranquil, as in tranquil. Okay, tranquility. So they own, they own, Rajujin Industries owns tra tranquility. Still, still a hard one to pronounce but like then again i guess it's you just saying tranquility tranquility it's just t as in t <laughs> so it's almost as good as your serenity that's what i meant as in that like, people might be like what is it a reference to exactly <laughs> all right imogen we've done it i was hoping you'd show up soon is it done yes it is uh the deal should be the deal should be ours okay excellent I'll let Ularo know that we can start moving forward with our negotiations. Now, I think it's time to examine a different set of skills. Uh oh. Okay. We don't actually get all that much XP for doing this quest, which is interesting. Uh, aren't I legally allowed some sort of break? We expect our employees to self-manage when it comes to breaks. I recommend taking a moment whenever you feel that stress may be getting the better of you. Just be mindful of your time. This Oof. job requires a clear head. All right. Um, you said there's... What was that? There's lots of T-Y words you can slip T into. Yeah. I'm going to slip into something more comfortable. <laughs> uh, okay. Mm, I'm always up for a challenge. Good. This next assignment could be a little more flexible than the others. Your next assignment is to find a security chief and use some creative thinking to obtain their security key card. And when I say creative, I don't mean with a weapon. Either look the part and be persuasive, or be quick with your hands. Quick with your hands? Is she planning for me to steal stuff? Hang on. What do, what do you need the key card for? I mean, I should whatever. We just need some easy access to competitor security. Sometimes, obtaining a legitimate form of access is preferred over brute forcing it. How do we get the keycard? A security chief isn't going to give the time of day to just anybody. A nice suit should do the trick. I mean, I am wearing a suit. Or, who knows? Some operatives are known to have a security guard uniform or two in their closet they can rely on. <laughs> just nice. be careful. Getting caught could mean a mess, and cleanup isn't cheap. Right. Let's do this. Good luck. I'm sure you'll be able to get that key card without incident. Just remember, if anything does happen, it's up to you to bail yourself out. Right. This is yet wear a suit or security guard uniform. Though I already am, aren't I? I'm wearing I'm I'm wearing what they call a corpo a corpo suit. Yeah, power suit. Oh, he's just ticked it. Okay, there, there we go. No, it did. Suddenly realized I was wearing one. I feel like I missed what she where she said she wanted me to get the key card from, though. So I don't know exactly where I'm going. Hmm. I guess we'll find out. Oh, yes, we will. We'll find out. Out of we may, out of my way. Wilson coming through. Wilson's coming through, out of my way. Head in a jar here, please, out of my way. Don't want to have to deal with anyone slapping, slapping each other. Just to hang out with the infamous Wilson. Wants me to go back to my ship then. Don't mind. Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, I feel like I've missed 
are saying where exactly <laughs> where exactly this is supposed to be. Let's have a look then. So let me see settings. Why am I going to settings? Oh, there it is. Access is key. Hope Town and Polvo in the Valo system to get a security key card. I'm betting the uh, I'm betting the, the, the chap for <laughs> here still hasn't respawned. I'm be I'm guessing he's still gone. We'll have a quick gander. But so far, yeah. <laughs> they've not been they've not been here every single time I've ever checked. They're all always still in the ocean swimming around. I mean I think they they recently did a patch for it as a bug fix. But yet yeah, he, he hasn't come back. I mean not necessarily that specific one, but they said that there's instances of NPCs not spawning where they should. What would be annoying though is if it turns out they basically had fixed it, Everything but only, where we left it? only, only if you didn't already have the bug. Like if the bugs already happened, then you're screwed. <laughs> you're screwed, and you can't do Ship's nothing good. about it. Buckle up and let's go. Ah, uh, never mind. Uh, well, a bit, guys. I am absolutely exhausted and all. But we're gonna we're gonna try at least do this part of the quest. Oh, if Bobby I have to wrap if I have to wrap up early, Orbit then I will. Achieved. Stabilizing. Done. Okay, right, we're in orbit. We're heading somewhere. Is it that arrow over there? There's a little dot. Well, that's no, that's the planet. Sometimes, even when you've got a mission, it doesn't show you where you're supposed to be going. And other times, it does show you where you're supposed to be going. So, it wants me to go to Hope Town. Huh. Yeah, it's just showing me all the other ships flying around. It's not showing me. It's not showing me where the quest is. That's fine. We can, uh, we can zoom out and find it. So, oh, there he is. Oh, it's in Narian. Ah, oh, no, not Narian. Valo, because he's over the top of it. Pol Polovo. I don't think I've been there, then. Oh, yeah, there's Hope Town. Okay, well, set a course. Warp over there. Uh, I need to take some power out of the engines. Put it in the grav drive. Look at all these damn little asteroids I'm carrying around. I've got like seven or eight now. <laughs> they won't go away. <laughs> I know I know. if I switch to PC, I could technically delete them, but that's using ah, console commands. Alright, that's it. Welcome to Hope Town. That's really cool that you got you got Polovo Station and you've got Hope Town down on the ground as well. So it has a space station and uh like a like a like a town, village, etc. I mean it could be a city. But I thought there was only three major ones. I didn't know if we were gonna find any more. <laughs> I do like the fact that there, there tends to be quite a few towns all over the place, though. My housemate was originally worried that he wasn't, uh, weren't going to find any more than just a few but that they originally announced. Smugglers always like to use Hope Tech ships to resemble legitimate transports. I wonder how oh, really? the company feels about that. So we've not been here before. This is Hope Town. And there's the corporation hope tech so what am i 
it wants me to try and steal a security key card for Hope Tech. Which again is, I guess, a rival company. Hello, what do we have here? Cargo link knockout. I don't want to hear any complaints. Danger. What's what's the danger? The fact there's a giant post in the middle of the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Though I can see it's one that goes into the ground and comes up then basically when there's something uh keep an eye on your valuables. You there's something going on or they're trying to get off. I like the fact there's another ship. There's another ship landed here as well. We've not been to too many places where they've got multiple ships docked. Landed. Jeez, there's a fair few. There's some in hangars. There's like three in hangars, and some of these are beasts. Check out that one over there. That's a big boy. What kind of ships are these? Why are they all docked up like this? I wonder if you can buy ships here then as well then. I said then twice. Sorry. <laughs> Random research lab. Uh, maybe I can use this one now, although I, that drug I took's probably worn off. But I was going to have a quick look. So we got horticulture now. I should be able to to do that. I still don't have enough adhesive. We need to, we need to keep an eye open for adhesive. Can I highlight it? How do I track? Damn, see, look, it does. It tracks everything. It doesn't just track the one object. But never mind. But what have I got here? Oh, I've got tons of this. Put in the metabolic agent. I've got tons of nutrients. Hey. Um... 100 tungsten. Stick that in. Yay. That's it done. Hey. We're going to unlock horticulture two. This is my point. I've already done domestication one. It doesn't give me the option to build that part at the base. So I don't really know what the deal is. Huh. Well, yeah, we can try number two as well then. If I have plenty of uh, certain resources. I've got tons of nutrients still. Um... Tons of metabolic agents. Amino acids. Let's go with the tungsten first. Let's fill in some tanks. That's it then. Yeah. Because as I said, the um, the main stuff, all my manufactured stuff, that's all at that base. But the research thing there doesn't work. It broke. It wouldn't let me use it. What a pain. Never mind. It is what it is. Here's a ton of ships. Some of them are being tested because this that one's got engines on. It's a strange looking ship. Is it cargo hauler? Because it's just got these giant boxes on the sides. So, who is it we're looking for again? It wanted me to find a security guard somewhere in the corner. There's resources in there, but if I take those, I'll get in trouble. So, leave. Let me guess, this is actually back outside. Okay. So, it's not here then, it's at like a different place. So not inside the facility, somewhere else. I guess. Where the hell am I going? Does it tell me on the <laughs> Does it tell me on the map? No, not per se. Why is it in the middle of flipping nowhere? This is very weird. We found some plants. I'll collect the odd uh, sample from some of these, because we just got the new quest and we just got that new perk. I do wonder then whether it, um, it does give us increased information about them. That's what it said it would do. There's nickel. Runa. Ow, 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 ow. Stay out of the smoke. Corrosive gas. Ugh. Corrosive. Okay, so we managed to find what I guess is the security outpost. 
I mean, this quest might take us... <laughs> it might take us to 10 o'clock anyway. Yeah. It's very interesting uh, location. Hello? I got my eye on you. Security chief. Can I help you? Yeah. Um... <laughs> I have a huge favor to ask. I need to borrow your security key card. Sorry, but that's not the type of thing I can just hand over without proper authorization. Do you want to tell me what's going on? Um... My job is on the line. I really need this favor. I'd like to help, but if I handed over this card, then it's my job that's on the line. Good answer. All right, persuade. Let's come I to an I understanding. Made clear. I'm not giving you my card. I think I have. Oh no, I don't have an auto persuade. Almost, but not quite. Although we only have to get him to four, and we get three tries. So uh, I wouldn't be asking if it wasn't so important. Maybe I can make an exception. And I do have the auto persuade if I need it. Um, I'll wear you down eventually. <laughs> What a weird response, but that's the one you need to pick because it's the highest chance of succeeding. What did I do to deserve this? Yeah. <laughs> Fine, the key's yours. Just remember to bring it back, or I'm reporting you. I mean you can report me, but Like what would you what would you report? Was that it though? Was that really, was that literally it? I just landed on the planet, came up to the dude and took it. Whether did she want me to take it without being... She didn't say whether she wanted me to take it without being aware that I took it. Did she? If she did, it wasn't that obvious. And she said that you could be creative with this one. It's like, what? <laughs> creative how? I talked to the dude and he just gave me the key card. Like, I guess if I didn't do that, then I'd have to pickpocket him probably. And I still feel like he gave up that security key card like too easy considering that it is his job to make sure people don't have the key card. I don't know, don't know, it's very, it was very odd. Have I met? If you are free soon, could we talk? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes? Well, I'm not doing Just anything right now. I'm relieved to be honest with you about my past. I appreciate your willingness to listen. But talking about this, remembering all those years, has brought back some unsettling memories. Unsettling. Sorry, unsettling. Yeah, unsettling. Um, what am I going to put for this? I'm starting to wonder if you ever had a, a day of fun in your entire life, really. That's a bit, that's a bit mean, isn't it? Oh, kind of, kind of. Um, hmm. You have memories of House Varun that aren't unsettling. I'm surprised. Well, that's maybe a little mean, but yeah, all right. You did not grow up on my world or as part of my culture. I would not expect you to understand. I would, however, expect you to be a bit more respectful. Oh, she and dissed this, me. It is not about that. It's something else. Oh. I have told you that I spent many years coordinating with smugglers along the edges of the settled systems. There were men and women I worked alongside closely and over time, I established relationships. They were not of the promised, but I considered them friends. Hmm. What do you mean, promised? It describes the people of House Varun. Right. We who have been promised to serve the Great Serpent now and forever. <laughs> In exchange, he promises to care for us when he returns to his domain. Even us heathens can be worth getting to know. You sound surprised. <laughs> yes, very. It, 
It was not what I was expecting. You must understand. I was raised to believe that those who do not follow the Great Serpent do not matter. For they are lost. Their fate is fixed and grim. Ugh. And yet here were these men and women with hopes and dreams, delights and aversions. It felt like a small betrayal of my people, of House Varun, but I cared for my friends. And then I lost them. Hmm. That must have been terrible. It was. In ways I did not understand at the time. And so it has bothered me ever since. It was so sudden. We had met on a remote planet to transfer cargo. And zealots appeared in force. When it she knows. Seemingly out of nowhere. There was barely time to react. So many were cut down immediately. I believe my years of training saved me, got me moving when others faltered. I retreated to my ship immediately. But I left them all behind. Aaron Bascom and Jada Wong. They were my friends and I abandoned them. And in the years since, I have never looked for them. Oh, really? Why? Why, why have you not checked up on them? Yeah. No. I told myself it's because I never had the time, but in truth, I was scared of what I'd find. How long has it been? Ten years. Wow. I was immediately reassigned to another role, light years away. Oh, she said she's there. Oh, Derek really is getting to me. Oh, she says she has um that she's she's been running around as their operative for a while, didn't she? Mm. Uh, you worried that they blame you for leaving them? If they've half as strong as you, they'll have gotten by. I have no doubt they were mm. resourceful. Still, how badly were their lives damaged by that moment? In my time getting to know you, I have thought more and more of all this. How little sense it all made, how I never really knew what happened or what became of my friends. My connection to you has reminded me what it means to trust someone, to be there for them. And I can no longer live with not knowing. Mm. I need to finally pursue this. I would like you with me when I do. I do not know what we will find, but I know it will be easier with you at my side. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sure, I've got nothing better to do today. <laughs> if it'll ease your mind, I'm in. I yes. am not sure I will find any comfort in it. But I think it is important, nonetheless. I am not sure where they might be now, but I believe we should begin the search in... Aquila City. That is where I last saw Aaron Bascom. Aaron Bascom? Huh. And Jesha now considers you a friend. Huh. Oh, oops, put that away. Reach Aquila City. Divided loyalties. Is that the quest I just got off her then? Hey there, friend. Need something? My brother works at Stroud that was weird. Did those two people say the same thing at the same time? Rather, that rather confused me. <laughs> yeah, that was um, somewhat surprising. Okay, come on, come on, Andresha, in, 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 in. Right, back to operations. Yeah, we're gonna have this in, and I'm gonna wrap up because I've got an itchy nose, and <laughs> I'm unbelievably exhausted. I want to go straight to bed tonight. I do. I want to grab me doggy. Give him a big cuddle and go to bed. Oh, little corgi, corgi boy. How are you today? Do you bring me joy? Aha, Imogen. Hey there. Got that key card for me? I thought this would be a more exciting quest, though, this one. Uh, at least this one. Like taking candy from a baby. Wouldn't be here if well, I didn't. Well, you work here, don't you? So, yeah. 
You probably would. <laughs> Here it is. Now we're talking. Not bad for a novice. I think you're ready to kick things up a notch. And your timing couldn't be better. Do they really, do they really, do they really know repercussions of the fact that I just asked that bloke for the key and he gave it to me and... Well, you know, like, obviously he'd remember what I look like and stuff. Hmm. I wonder. Um, ready for anything? I hope this is a real challenge. My skills are languishing. I'm always ready to screw over the competition. <laughs> I'm still questioning the legality of this job. Yeah. I'll just say I'm, I'm ready for anything. I mean, although I did quite like the last one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the science, the scientists would probably it would probably doubt it quite a lot because this isn't a normal role for a scientist to be helping out with. You may as well question the entire corporate world at that point. <laughs> Just think of what we do here as standard business practices. Standard. This next assignment requires anything a bit but more standard. discretion for two reasons. First, you'll be dealing with high-level executives, and second, you'll be in the Astral Lounge here in Neon. Ah. I suspect a great many things could occur in the Astral Lounge without anyone taking notice. Sounds exciting. I thought that might spark interest. Our techs failed to uncover a potential deal between Infinity LTD and Quantum Synergies. Oh. Your job is to make sure that deal fails. It's going to be very interesting. What are the companies? Infinity LTD is one of our aspiring competitors. They have products in several similar fields, ships and neuroamps being the exception. Hmm. Quantum Synergies specializes in ship operating software. We don't consider them a major competitor since their product line is so narrow. If the two are meeting to work out a contract, that tells us Infinity must be looking to get into the ship business. Right. We'd like to delay that if we can. Okay. Consider it done. That's what we're <laughs> hoping for. You'll be speaking with Quantum Synergy's executive director, Zola Adisa, and their financial manager, Arthur Cruz. I'll be giving you a dossier on both. I strongly suggest you read them for talking points. I mean, it does seem very dicky, doesn't it? They're all just kick kicking over the competition. Hmm. Um, reading, I'll be fine on my own. Can you give me a breakdown of the dossiers? I suppose I can give you a brief rundown. We'll start with Zola. Zola is a born and bred executive. It runs in the family, so she's highly accustomed to an upper-class lifestyle. She's a narcissist who's also obsessed hmm. with public perception, both of her and quantum synergies. She wants to be associated with the latest and greatest, so she is drawn to innovation and quality. Right. If she's into innovation and quality, she should be working here. <laughs> I love dealing with self-absorbed people. <laughs> she's considered it, but she's next in line to be CEO over uh, at Quantum. CEO. If she right. came here, she'd have to deal with stiff competition. As for her talking points, the key things to remember are Infinity is the cheap version of Ryujin. They're a follower, not a leader, and they lack any sense of clear vision. All right. Do they have any original products of their own? Actually, that's quite a sciencey question. They've launched several, but none survive long. Nothing that would be as big as neuroamps or grab drives. Right. That's why they've taken to just following whatever trends companies like Ryujin set. If they can't make money off ingenuity, they can certainly sell someone a cheaper version of a more expensive product they may want. Right, that's what they do. Okay. That's why they're cheap. Infinity LTD's strategy to make money is to cut cost on quality. You can compare any one of our products to theirs and see it almost instantly. Low-grade synthetics, flimsy thin materials, high energy usage, they issue at least one or two recalls a year. That's a lot. I've had I've had a recall once on a car part. Yeah, they did. They rec they recalled they recalled um one of my cars, they recalled the radiator due to spontaneous combustion. I was like, what? <laughs> Took it down to one of the garages and they replaced the part. I was like, well, thank you very much, because I was worried about, you know, that happening. If 
it happens to some people's cars? Yeah. <laughs> but why do they lack vision? Infinity has struggled with leadership and turnover for a long time now. Right, that's Lucas fine. Drexler is probably the fifth CEO they've had in the past few years. Plus, it's hard to keep good employees when much better corporations who will pay more are out there. Hmm. Okay. Just remember, you can refer to the dossier at any time as a refresher. Now, on to Arthur Cruz. Arthur Cruz. Arthur is a self-made man, and he prides himself on that. He's a full package, having both an extremely good knack for numbers and knowing how to talk to people. As Quantum Synergy's financial manager, he's all about driving profit with as little risk as possible. He makes decisions based on facts and heavily researched trends. Well, I have commerce as an option. That's interesting. Don't know much. <laughs> I'd love to get his thoughts on what constitutes acceptable risk. It sounds like the two of you could really hit it off. Arthur's a great talker, but even the best can lose an audience when finance is the topic. <laughs> Talking points for Arthur are aimed at steering him toward Ryujin over Infinity LTD. Okay. Ryujin's profits are 25.7% higher than Infinity's, even with a superior quality product. Infinity's profits are fabricated. They're one audit away from ruin. Ooh. We have a history of being financially secure that's never wavered. And we have the legal and marketing teams to handle anything that might threaten that. Hmm. Nice. Um, why, uh, why do we want to try and steer him to Ryujin? Quantum Synergies is the top name in ship OS. Their reputation has allowed them to keep the best engineers on their payroll. We can't deny that working with them would be beneficial for us. And Arthur is our best bet in making that happen. Besides, an open collaboration gives us easier access to information we'd otherwise have to find a more clever means of discovering. Hmm. Okay. Why, uh, why do we know so much about their profits versus our own? We keep an extremely close eye on our competition. Thanks to operatives like you, that information is almost always at our disposal. Oh, well, I guess, you know, that's the best way to dominate the market is know your competition. <laughs> right, thank you. Sounds like you're ready then. I'd still highly recommend reading the dossiers, though. Sometimes bullet-pointed statements can stick out in minds easier than conversation. Um... Read the dossier so I say the right things. Got it. I memorize every line. Just as long as you don't sound like you're reading out of a book. <laughs> the Infinity LTD rep is Nina Hart. I'll also be giving you an altered version of her presentation to swap out with the original. We've Ooh. changed several figures, just enough to cause sufficient confusion throughout their meeting. Nice. How am I going to manage to swap over the presentation? That's fascinating. Yeah. How did you get how, yeah, how did you get her presentation? We got lucky on that one. Nina was <laughs> ah. making some last minute changes to it at her own home and happened to save it to her personal data storage. And how did you get hold of that? Of course, we were able to access it, so we fabricated our own with new figures and put it on an Infinity LTD slate. We say of course. Assuming she's using an Infinity LTD slate is a bit of a gamble, but one we're willing to take. <laughs> um who do I how do I swap it? If it's not on her person, it will be in the suite she has reserved. Suites are patrolled, so she'll believe it's secure. If you can't manage to get her room key or deal with the door itself, try Boone Morgan, the manager. Boone appreciates credits, if you know what I mean. It's the Astral Lounge. We already have VIP access to the Astral Lounge, so... Um... <laughs> swapping the presentation will make Infinity look incompetent. Exactly. And that incompetence will be enough for them to further question this deal. Finally, I recommend dressing appropriately. So I've taken the liberty Ooh. of having a suit made for you. She's made me one. We need absolute discretion on this one. I don't want any SSNN broadcasts about murder in the Astral Lounge. Got it? <laughs> Why do I need to dress appropriately? The only news you'll be hearing is how that deal this that deal fails miserably. Just don't let that confidence give you a false sense of security. And remember, no incidents. So far we've not we've not had any incidents, which has been pretty cool. I am pleased with our progression. But yes, let's have a let's have a quick gander at what she's given us before we, we proceed on. So we have a dossier on Arthur Cruz. 
Notable relationships, none. Self-made man. Personality, charismatic and friendly. Enjoys talking to people. Oh, like me then. Uh, stickler for facts and details. Driven by credits and how to increase his accounts. Financial security is everything. Talking points. Infinity profits are fabricated. One audit will ruin them. Fusion's profits are 25.7% higher and produce a higher quality product. Infinity's marketing and legal teams can't compare to Fusion's. Fusion industry provides financial security. Right. Uh, Zola. Relationships. Dyla Adesia, mother, retired CFO. Inception Technologies. M.I. Adesia's sister, public relations. Centauri Mills, personality narcissist. Assessed with public perception. Appreciates appreciation for professionalism in manner and appearances. Drawn towards innovation. Enjoys being part of something new. Quality is key. Strong dislike to be associated with anything less. Uh, talking points. Infinity LTD is the cheap version of Eugen Industries. Infinity is a follower, not a leader when it comes to innovation. Infinity lacks clear vision with competent, constant reorganization. Praise quantum synergies if the operation, if the opportunity is... Was that presented? So one of them is so one of them is Quantum Synergy's director, and the other one is Quantum Synergy's financial manager. Right. Oh, and we'll be given a fitted business suit. So I guess we'll have to put that on then. Uh, there's the fake presentation. It's not gonna. Yeah, it's not gonna let me look at it, which is a little bit of a shame. But never mind. I guess we'll find out. Uh, Oh, is it giving you an? It's giving you an option for both. Influence one or the other. But we'll um, yeah, we'll just head down to the foyer and then I'm gonna, then we're gonna, we're gonna save it, leave it there. We'll, we'll, we'll do this interesting quest tomorrow. Then continue this tomorrow, as well as do the next moon in our foray around Saturn. I think we're we're we 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 four of the, four of the moons through. Yeah, we're four of the... Is it the quick save? Yeah, I'll save over the quick save. That's fine. We've, um, we've done four of the moons now around Saturn, haven't we? So we'll have uh, one tomorrow, and then we'll only have two left come next week. But then there'll be another five around Neptune. So we'll... Uh, was it Neptune after? Or was it Uranus? I can't remember off the top of my head. Ah! <laughs> but I know that. I know it's soon. I know it's soon. Right. Okay, good job. Good job, guys. We've done well. We've done well. Although the death counter's still broke, look. I'll try it again, but I bet it's still broke. I mean, watching the, uh, watching the clips backwards pretty entertaining in its own right. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's still broke. I don't know what the deal is. Hopefully it'll be back for tomorrow, but I'll remember that I need to add one death. We died once today to Starfield. Um, you can see, look, I'll, I've set it up with the skull. So the skull gets pushed along by the counter. So it doesn't matter how many deaths are on the counter. It'll always, um, it'll always sit at the, sit at the front, <laughs> but it's annoying that it's broken because now it's sticking out far too much. E, what can you do? What can you do? Okay, come with me one and all to the chatting, the chatting TV. Oh yeah, the chatting channel. Oh look, I've got my body back. I've got my body back, which is a uh, good because it's just in time, just in time for the battle royale. So, if you've not done so, choose your fighter. Say something in chat. Your avatar will spawn below as we proceed to the battle floor. I will give you all five seconds. The winner, as always, will be. The, the new channel VIP and the wielder of the sacred telemote. Okay, good luck one and all. Let's do this. You're healed, it's a Wil Wilson Miss Miracle. Yeah. Three, two, one, it's go. just me, you, it's just me, you and Stu versus each other. That's all right, let's do this. I guess the question is up whether you were you and Stu are gonna try and smash each other to bits or you're gonna team up and some take me out first. Hmm. So at the moment you're fighting each other too too aggressively and it's uh it's backfiring. 
Although you've, you've managed to grab a health pack. Right, Stu's blasted me in the face. You've slashed me in the arse. You're hunting me down, Adam. You're hunting me down. You don't want me to get away. Oh, though you've just took two blasts from me. I've managed to kill you, though. Uh, you've managed to kill me, though. So I'm dead. That's you versus Stu. He's gotten a cheeky hit, but you're... Oh, oh you, you've got him on the ropes. You've got him on the ropes, Adam. He's trying, but no. You've got far too much health. Stu's down. Adam is the winner. Game. Good job, Adam. Good job. You are now the VIP. Enjoy the telemote. Do please behave with it. Behave with it. <laughs> Use responsibly. <laughs> yep. Right. That's been a that's been a fun fun stream. Huzzah! I won one. Yeah. You did. You did indeed. So, right, we're going to find someone to raid. Is there any suggestions? Anyone Anyone on this evening that we can take this party to? I said yesterday I was going to have a look through the new articles on Kotaku about uh, afflictions. How Starfield remo removed. They removed some of the affliction mechanics and there was stuff about spooky games coming up for Halloween. I've got two, two top of my list. Two top of my list that I want, I want to try. I think we'll do for some Halloween fun. Around my uh, around my birthday, because my birthday is always just before Halloween as well. <laughs> but there's um there's there's high on knife, high on knife comes out in like a week or two, yeah. And then there's uh, Alan Wake two. And I was a massive fan of the original Alan Wake games. I had both the normal one and the American Nightmare arcadey style one that they released on the uh, the summer of arcade gaming. Mm. Back when that used to be a thing on Xbox. <laughs> they don't do that anymore, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah. All oh, right, yeah. And then there's the one about anime. Anime like cyberpunk. So I need to... I do need to have a look at those. Hopefully I'll have time to do that tonight. Ooh, okay. So there's a few people on. I can see... I can see Snorbuckle is doing just chatting. But then what does... What is he chatting about? Is there a purpose? Or is he just talking about, you know, hats? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Rant Duff clumsy's on playing bridge of spirits still i never finished bridge of spirits i like that it was, it's a very interesting game uh, polygon oh wow. polygons on playing party animals oh and Lore lorelei lorelei who won who won the battle royale yesterday they're on playing genshin impact i've never raided lorelei so we could always drop into lorelei as a Oh, well, no, I say Snorbuckle, but for some reason it's turned into Chris Shreddit. So I guess Snorbuckle just raided out. Yeah. Although Chris Shreddit's stream is not working. Oh, well, no, it is. It is. We could, we could, we could raid Mr. Chris as well. Hmm. well I've never raided Chris either, so let's see. Give him a, let's give him a surprise. Give him a double raid. Wait, why was I trying to type it into his chat? Doesn't exactly work that way, does it? No, no. Okay, put it in there. Put it in there. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Come with us. Give him a big hoo-ha, Wilson. Huzzah. And then I do, yes, hope you've all had a wonderful evening for another episode of The Slightly Wilson Show. We'll be back tomorrow. Till then, sleep well hydrate and as always folks i always have to look down because i can't remember where the button is <laughs> don't touch that dial ow smack my hand right let's do this we're coming for you chris <laughs> <laughs>